Namaste. Hey guys. So I am back again for the third time now trying to record this video. Apparently there is still some negative influences out here who are trying to, um, uh, um, to keep me from spreading the light. <laughs> Apparently there's some, there's still some spiritual attacks happening on us. Um, I have tried to record a full on reading video of the full moon in Gemini, um, twice. I've spent over an hour each time, both times. It's just gone. It's just gone. And there's nothing I can do about it. I, I can't find it. So I usually will take that as a sign from the universe, from source, from the, uh, my spirit guides that whatever, there was something I must have said that I shouldn't have said. I'm going to take it that way or there's something out there that just doesn't want me to talk. There's something out there that just doesn't want me to speak my truth. And the funny thing about that is in the, la in the reading, this is some sage. In the reading I just finished and lost, I had pulled a card from the angels and the ancestors asking for a little bit of advice from the universe um, how we are going, what we needed to know energetically to survive through this full moon in Gemini. It, this is called the cold moon, the full moon in Gemini. Um, the moon is about emotions. A full moon is about supercharged emotions. Gemini is about communication. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of needed, much needed communication taking place during this time of the full moon in Gemini. I believe that there's going to be a lot of um, secrets and truths and just information, much needed information um, is going to be brought to light and it's going to be acknowledged, accepted, and, um, and be useful uh, for those who are going to stand in their power and speak their truth. Um, the card, the last card I pulled was the stag card. And the importance of this card to me is that the stag is the king of the forest. And in Celtic traditions, the stag is the totem for uh, protection in times of challenge, like in challenging times. Um, the stag is revered by the Native Americans because the stag actually provided food and materials for them for life for the, so that they could survive. And although the stag is has been hunted, he's still hunted, you know, he still stands tall and proud in his dignity and grace um, in the forest and is a protector totem for many. So the stag coming in makes me feel like he's telling you, hey, I got your back, stand in your truth, stand in your dignity, uh, speak, speak your words, know that you're going to be protected. Um, I feel like that's what the stag was coming in to say. So I am going to try my best to upload this little short video that is a very condensed version of the first video I did where I did, I, I pulled from three different decks and was trying to just get the information out there for you guys. Just getting a little um, advice from spirit. Um, but I feel like there's still a little bit of some attacks going on. Um, so I'm just going to keep this one short and simple. Um, maybe I'll come back tomorrow with a longer read. I would like to come back and do and pull a card for the energy of each zodiac, which is what I did. Um, that's a lot of work and I did it twice. This is the second time that I've spent long periods of my time creating a video, editing a video, and then losing a video. The first time it was for my jewelry. This Now it was for this, this long reading. So I do feel like there still is some, um, some nasty negative influences hanging around. And although I'm working and doing my best, you know, to keep plugging it out, putting out the light, putting out the love, um, putting out the information, 
that um, spiritually can help people out there who need it, I'm going to keep doing it. Nothing's going to stop me. Um, I am divinely protected. Um, I'm going to get my message out. So I'm going to try it a different way. And instead of doing a big, long reading, I'm just going to keep it short. So you guys, Stag Energy came in to tell you to stand tall, stand strong, speak your truth, be empowered by that, and find you you will find so much closure with this full moon. This this full moon is going to bring closure, and you're going to feel uh, empowered to speak your truth and know that it's it's going to be received well. And and there you go. We'll keep it at that. So wishing everybody out there a beautiful beautiful day, night, evening, whenever this video reaches you. And I will try again tomorrow to pull some messages from the angels and the ancestors for the different zodiacs and we will see if it'll actually happen <laughs> anyways i put this beautiful purple wig on did my makeup up i am not gonna let that go to waste hey i got my message across love you guys namaste bye